Hi guys, this is Tom from Tom Build Stuff. I wanted to make more videos, but this wasn't exactly the video I expected to make next. I spent a lot of time outdoors, sometimes without access to running water. I thought it might be helpful given the circumstances with the pandemic to show how I wash my hands on the go without hand sanitizer. Everyone, please take this seriously. It goes from a few cases to tens of thousands of cases very quickly. While a lot of people won't get infected, and most that do get infected won't have a hard time, the number of people that will suffer is pretty significant compared to other diseases. It's also taxing the hospitals. Man, when I do need to drive, I'm driving like an old lady heading to church on Sunday because the last thing I want is to get in an accident and have to go to the hospital now. I think I'll be fine if I get infected, and, and you probably think the same thing too, but we all have people in our lives who might not be, you know, whether they're older or they may have other health issues or you know what, there's people with really good health that are on respirators right now, are on ventilators right now, I mean. If someone we care about gets sick because we refuse to do something as simple as washing our hands, man, how do you get over that? That's just not something you want to deal with. Just do the right thing until this is all over. You can keep the supplies you need in your car, a, a bag, and even some large pockets, depending how often you need to wash your hands. And just to cover myself, washing your hands the normal way is best, but that's not always an option. I have no way of testing this, but it should work in theory, and it's done a good job getting dirt off my hands. Do your best to keep your hands clean and off your and other people's faces as much as possible until you can actually watch your, wash your hands correctly. But you know, this should help at least get the dirt off your hands and it, sh it should do a good job. I'm in the New York City area. Hand sanitizer and even hand soap is hard to find. Even when I do have hand sanitizer, that's not always the best choice because it's not great with dirt. Washing your hands first to remove dirt makes the hand sanitizer more effective. I'm also going to go over how I conserve soap, which is really important when you can't find it. Washing alone not only washes away germs, but it also kills a lot of them from what the experts say. The coronavirus is basically some RNA surrounded by fat and soap dissolves fat. So let's get to it. My on-the-go hand washing method was inspired by the foaming hand soap dispensers I use at home. I love these things, and I have them at every sink in my home, including kitchen, all the bathrooms, and the laundry room too. They save a considerable amount on liquid soap, which is great now that it's hard to find. Really simple to use. You add soap up to the first line, then you fill to the next line with water. After that, you put on the cover and swirl it around a little bit so that everything gets mixed together. When you want to wash your hands, you pump out some foam on your hands and just start rubbing them together. Just wash them how you normally do. You don't need to wet your hands first to create a lather. And then when you're done scrubbing, you rinse your hands off with running water. One of the ways soap works is one part of the soap molecule attaches to dirt, another part of the soap molecule attaches to water. So when you rinse away the soap, you drag the dirt with it. I purchased these years ago and they've held up really well minus some of the chrome finish peeling. They're not available anymore, but I will have links in the blog post to some that look good and have good reviews. There's going to be other links and info in the blog post, so please click the link in the video description below when you're done watching this. The best soap to use with these foaming dispensers is the transparent looking soap. Uh, the soap you can't see through that has lots of lotions and moisturizers in it doesn't mix with water as well in my experience. And I would suggest going with the antibacterial soap if you can get it for the on the go method for some added germ killing power. So how do we make this portable so we can wash our hands when we're not at home? I guess you could take this dispenser with you, but it's not really made for traveling and you could make a mess in a bag. Spray bottles on the other hand are more secure and will help dispense the soap and water, but won't create foam. The foam is nice, but it really isn't necessary. The important thing is you have enough soap and water on your hands to clean them. I'm using larger spray bottles because these are the types of bottles that easily fit in my car and what I found available right now. Uh, all my other bottles have cleaning products in them. You could use smaller bottles. It really doesn't take a lot of soap and water to wash your hands thoroughly. So like the little pump spray bottles will work just fine. I'll have some links for those too. And those you could easily fit in your pocket. I use a ratio of about one part soap to four or five parts water. I just kind of eyeball it and test it to make sure I can wash my hands well. If there isn't enough lather, I add more soap. If there's too much lather, which makes it harder to rinse, 
I add more water. When I need to wash my hands, I'll spray some of the solution in my hand. Maybe four sprays or so is all that's really necessary, and I'll start rubbing my hands together vigorously. Uh, the soap alone doesn't get your hands clean. The mechanical action of rubbing is very important. I'll scrape my fingernails on my palms, do the same with my thumbs, make sure I clean the back of my hands and the tops of my fingernails, between my fingers, really scrub every part of my hands really, really well. Now it's time to rinse off the soap. If you have access to running water, use that. When there's no running water, I keep a bottle of water with some bleach in it to rinse. All I need to do is keep spraying my hands a few times until the soap is rinsed off as well as I can rinse it. This is a larger bottle, but if you have more space constraints, you can use a smaller bottle. You don't really need all that much depending on how many times you plan on washing your hands. I had the bleach to help keep the water sanitary and to add a little bit of sanitizing action to it. I chose a very dilute bleach solution. The FDA recommends 50 to 100 parts per million for sanitizing food contact surfaces without needing to rinse it away, with up to 200 parts per million in some cases. Since this is our final rinse and safe for things like utensils, it seemed like the right way to go. I have a calculator on the blog post that will tell you how much bleach to use depending on the concentration of the bleach you're using. Dilute bleach solutions don't keep their sanitizing effect long, so I try to make a new solution every couple of days or so. So, and this is why it's important to, to keep the bottle to the appropriate size for how many times you wash your hands. That way you're not wasting too much bleach, which again, is hard to find these days. Finally, we need to dry our hands. If there are no other options, you can just let them air dry, but it's better if you keep some paper towels in a plastic bag to dry them. Maybe not a bad idea to keep the bleach solution on your hands a minute too before drying. The paper towels will help remove any lingering dirt that didn't rinse off. I'm just using a towel here because my hands are already clean and paper towels are in short supply as well. Thank you everybody who's hoarding. If you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. If we follow the recommendations of health officials, this should all be over relatively soon.